I'm gonna be reviewing the new Red Heart Granny Stitch All-in-One yarn. Okay, so here's the thing. I have been obsessed with this yarn for maybe about a month now, because that's when I found out about it. It was like about a month ago, and at first it was only being sold in the States, and I'm from Canada, so I really wanted to wait for the yarn to come to Canada for me to do a review, so then that way other Canadians know that you can actually buy it here now like it's new like it is new and I found it at a Walmart and it was at, at an end cap like at the end of an aisle and that's where they usually put their new features so it is new it might not be in all Walmarts but I found mine in Walmart and they had 12 there's four colors that I don't have but I bought the rest of them I bought every single color that I could in the store. Was it a lot of money? Yes, and we'll get into that. I took some notes because I have made a few granny squares. I do actually have a video that I haven't technically started yet, but it's gonna happen. I have a video where I'm going to use every single skein of yarn with this. If I find those other four, great. If not, I'll live. My plan is to make a cardigan using this granny square yarn. And when that comes out, I will have used every single one and I'll give you a like a little bit of an update when that video does come out once I start working on the project. But I just want to give you my thoughts now, now that it is very popular and people are buying it. Like I said, I bought mine at a Canadian Walmart and I've went to three Canadian Walmarts looking for it. The first one, I did find it. I found, that's where I bought them all was the first Walmart. Then I went to a second Walmart. They also had it, but they had fewer options because people have been buying them and then the third Walmart I went to was a smaller Walmart they didn't even have it there so it's not every single Walmart so far in Canada I've only found it at Walmarts in the States I'm pretty sure you can get them at Joann's probably Walmart I'm not too sure but I have heard that you can get them at Joann's there's no Joann's in Canada so couldn't even go there if I wanted to because my passport has expired and I can't leave the country anywho one of these was $12 dollars Canadian. If you think about it, pretty expensive for a skein of yarn that's not like a fancy skein of yarn. When I crochet, such as this lovely piece here, which is my favorite thing I probably ever crocheted, I used impeccable loops and thread from Michaels and their skein of yarn, it's gone up, but it's seven dollars a skein. Now you do get double the amount than I would for there. So in an impeccable one, it's here's the thing. I'm going with impeccable because it's literally the only other yarn I use. You get, you know, 285 yards or something like that of yarn. And in this one, you get 417 yards. So almost double the amount of yards. And for one skein of this, you're supposed to get 14 granny squares. You know, if you wanted to make 14 granny squares, there are five colors in here. There's five colors to the granny square in this, which would mean you'd have to buy five separate colors. And if you're buying five different skeins of yarn that are $7 each, this is the better deal. So it's a little bit more money, but in the sense that there's five different colors in here and you don't have to buy five different skeins of yarn. Yeah, usually when you get yarn, it just has a generic label. Well, this one, it actually shows you the square here what this yarn makes. The label has changed to show what these colors make into the square, which I think is amazing. Cause you know, sometimes you look at it, you're like, how are these colors gonna go together? I don't know. It shows you right on the label. I feel like this is a very novelty type of yarn. So I don't think it's gonna like be here forever, unfortunately. And so when I saw the opportunity, I bought them all. I bought, I got all of them. What did you take? I took nine. I took nine. Again, I have the whole idea that I'm gonna use every single color that I have available to me in Canada to make a cardigan. That's pretty much what I have to say about the yarn itself, where to get it, stuff like that. I have made so far three. I've made three granny squares using three different colors because I have to test them out. And my sister also made one and I'm gonna use that and show her notes as well. How this yarn works, and I'll show you, is when you pull from the center, this is the mill color of your granny square. So you pull, you keep going, and then it just automatically switches to the next color and you just keep going and going and going. And then eventually when you get to the end of the color, so when you get to the uh, the fifth color, resets itself and goes back to the center 
granny square color again and that's why i think it is so cool the first one i made was this one here and this is the warm wheat oh uh, look at look how pretty this is okay now what's really drawn me to this there's no ends where's the ends michelle there ain't there, there's none there's no ends except for you know where you end and where you start okay that's inevitable other than that there's there's no ends to me in. I think y'all know how I feel about weaving in ends by now. Let's get into what I feel about them. I've never used Red Heart yarn before. And when I mean never, I mean I've never used it for the majority of a project. I think I've used some little bit of color here, a little bit of color there, but for the most part, I never use it. So I do feel compared to my Impeccable, which I'm wearing, it is a little scratchy. It's not on the level of how scratchy wool is, but it's not as soft as what I am used to. I'm okay with it. I'm fine. Doesn't bother me. Now, for this yarn, they do want you to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. That would be a USI 9. And that is what I initially did. I'm like, you know what? Let's just sit, do what they tell me to do. Except I'm not going to follow the pattern. They tell me to do the pattern because I have a certain way I like to do granny squares and that's the way I like to do them. We'll get into that. The first three layers, I did use the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, here's the thing. When I got to the last two, I was trying to use the 5.5 and what I felt that I needed to do was really had to tighten up my tension and I don't have a tight tension. I don't want to have a tight tension. I like to crochet the way I like to crochet because in the end, I like how it fits. If I were to mess with my tension, that's just gonna mess with everything that I make going forward. I'm not about that. For the last two rows, what I did is I had taken them apart and then I redid them half a size down. For the last two rows, I sized down to a five. And right here at the end, I did actually have to go into the next color, which is actually the starting color. But that's a little tip that I got for this one here. And this is the warm wheat. Other than that, I think it crocheted pretty neat. I think it's, I think it's a fun, I think it's fun. So the next one I'm gonna show you is this one here. This one is from this. This one is Citrus Twist. I made a few TikToks the other day using this one and for the life of me, I could not say Citrus Twist. Why is it so difficult? I made two of them because I wanted to see what was going on. This was my first attempt. And as you can see, I was fine for the first row. I was fine even for the second row. The first and second row, I haven't had a problem on any of these squares. It's when it gets to the third, fourth, and fifth row, that's when things take uh, a turn for the worst. Right here, I've already ran out of the, I think it was like a, it's kind of like a hot purple fuchsia. Fuchsia, hot purple, that's not a color. The fuchsia color right here, this isn't the last row. This is the fourth row here. And then when I did it, there's only this much left. I took it apart to do something. This was not enough to get me to here. And don't even get me started on the fifth row of this. The fifth row of this, when I was doing it, I counted. I think I was short like 11 double crochets. So if you're not familiar with a granny square, if you've just tuned in, each one of these little granny stitches, little cluster, is comprised of three double crochets. I was short like 11 double crochets for the last one. And then that meant that I had to go into the middle color to finish it. I wasn't really a fan of that. Because I did a TikTok, I got a lot of really great advice. What some people have said is when you get to the last two rows, go down a hook size. And like you saw, I listened and I went down a hook size, half a hook size for the last two rows that worked. This one, I actually did this whole one in a five millimeter crochet hook and it still was not enough yarn to complete each one of the rows. And what I ended up doing, and I'll show a little clip here, I did it on my TikTok, but I'll, I'll show you here, is I actually took the last row, which is actually this white, and I took apart this one here and I measured out how much yarn there was on this fifth row and how much yarn was on this fifth row. This one here had like this more, much more of the color. The color changed faster on this than it did on this one. And I did it twice. I thought, okay, maybe it's just that one strand of the color changing on this yarn that wasn't working. Let me do a second square. And I had the exact same problem with the second square. Now, I don't remember who commented this on my TikTok, but I love the idea. What they suggested is like I mentioned earlier, each one of these granny square stitches, it's a granny stitch in a granny square, has three double crochets. Technically, 
every other one, I could just put two double crochets instead of three double crochets. When I've made squares before, sometimes I accidentally put four double crochets. Sometimes I accidentally put two, the square is done and I ain't going back and it hasn't bothered me. So I think going forward with this, if I run out of yarn, I'll just take that into account and say like every other one or maybe the corners take a stitch out. That could work. Again, I will probably try that attempt for the second follow-up video once I've used every color. Another suggestion someone did have is don't put so many chains in the corner. I actually put less than the pattern. So let's get right into the pattern. It's just a basic granny square, but in between corner pieces here, they want you to do three chains. I only do two chains. And then in between the granny square stitches themselves, they want you to put another chain. I didn't do that. I didn't do two steps and I still didn't have enough yarn. Okay. So following this doesn't technically work. Maybe on some, but not on all. This is how I make my crochet pattern. It's, 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 it's I, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. I just don't put as many chains. That, that's essentially it. But moving on from the citrus twist, I'll show you another one that I did. This one is called Hot Stuff. And I did this one last night. I love these colors together. You know what's funny is I would never think to put these colors together. They did, and I think it looks gorgeous. For this one here, I was fine for the first row. I was fine for the second row. I was fine for the third row. In fact, I had more yarn than I needed. I still have a little bit of a tail. So I could have left more of a tail from when I started and the first three rows would have been perfect but then I get into the fourth row and what happens I run out of the color I need what I ended up doing is I did take it apart and I went down another half hook size so originally it was supposed to be 5.5 I did this the first three rows in a five last two rows I went down to a 4.5 millimeter hook and yes, the granny stitches do look a little bit smaller. In the end, I am going to be putting them on my granny stretch blocker thingy, and I'm going to stretch them out to the same size. So it doesn't bother me. You gotta play around with the hook sizes. So it's kind of good if you have at least a five and a 4.5. I don't think you need a 5.5. I don't think you need it. Honestly, anytime that a pattern has told me to use a 5.5, I use my five millimeter crochet hook. So the last square I am going to show you, my sister did. That's this one here. This one is called Amethyst. I'm not too sure how she makes her granny squares. I think it's very similar to mine, but she told me for the first three rows, she used the 5.5, but when she went to the last two rows, she switched it and went down to a five millimeter hook. That's where it ended. She had enough yarn for each of the rows. I think this amethyst one is a good, is good. They're really pretty colors. I think they're, they're pretty. So that's my thoughts on the squares I made. And now I'm going to let you know my pros and cons about this yarn. So first up, you get a lot of yarn. You get a lot of yarn. For $12, you get five colors and you can make 14 granny squares. So I think that's a pro. Technically, if you were to buy all the colors individually, it'd be like about $3 per ball of yarn, which is really, it's a really good price. The other thing that I absolutely love about this yarn is it takes away the pressure of figuring out the best color combo. Cause sometimes when I make a granny square, I'm like, does that look good? Should those like go together? This don't even have to worry about it. You just pick one up. You're like, Hey, I like those colors and it does the rest for you. You don't have to worry about figuring out like what the colors you wanna go in. It just does it for you and you just crochet along. What I really like about it, it is making me use colors that I never thought would ever look good together. And then you put them together and you're like, wow, that actually looks really, really cool. So that's like another like really fun thing is that the colors they picked are like so cool looking. Now, like I mentioned, the selling feature of why I wanted this yarn is that there is no ends to be woven in. That is kind of the reason why I bought it is because I don't have to weave in any of the yarns. Again, you know, you got the little piece here and you got the piece up here. That's gonna be fine. There's no ends and I love that, okay? So here, here's the thing. I would rather deal with playing yarn chicken with this because you never know if you're gonna have enough color for the row than having to like spend the time and weave in the yarn you know because sometimes even when you weave it in it still pokes through and it drives me absolutely nuts but this 
it's not gonna poke through because there's no ends to weave in. Cons, okay, it's not a big list of cons, it's just a few little things. One, it is not the softest yarn out there. It's also not the scratchiest yarn out there, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit softer, probably why I don't really use Red Heart yarn as much because of that. Also, I don't care for the variety of colors that they have, but this being a novelty item, love it. Some of them just don't work out like I showed you. This one worked, the Citrus Twist, I coming apart right now. I've tried two times. Both times didn't work out. That's something to take into account. I, I do, I'm still gonna use this. I'm still gonna put this on my cardigan. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. I think it's the first of its kind. I've never heard about it. If you know of other brands that do this, I'm not talking about self-striping or anything like that. I'm talking about yarn that turns itself into a granny square please let me know in the comments because i would love to try out other brands but for the most part i've never seen this before this is the only brand i've ever seen do this so i'm gonna take what i can take i'm i'm not gonna okay i'm kind of complaining but i'm not complaining i think it is amazing i love it but i feel like it's such a new product there's gonna be some hiccups along the way all right there eventually maybe they'll get the formula right and it will work out or maybe they'll just continue it. I really don't hope they discontinue it. I really hope they put more colors out because I just love this yarn so much. Like, don't get me wrong, I love it. There's some cons. For the most part, I do love this yarn. The other thing is the pattern that they include in here. And not, not the pattern to make the vest, but the pattern like the, for a granny square itself. I don't think you should use it. I don't think you should use it. Again, here's the one that I use. This is how I've made this granny square. This is how I've made this granny square. So I've made these two squares using my pattern. I just had enough yarn to finish each row. I feel like the pattern they give you, you have to make more chains, which means you'll use up more yarn. My way you use less yarn and you might not have to play yarn chicken so much. I think that's really it just for cons. There's not a lot of cons. Like I think this is like really cool yarn. Let's just go over the final review. This isn't gonna replace making granny squares by itself. It's a fun novelty yarn. I don't think it's gonna be like very mainstream i hope it does i hope more yarn places do it like if michael's created one of course i would go buy it and test it out but i think it's more for fun just for a fun time i don't want people buying it and getting really stressed out that it's not working for them it's just a fun yarn to buy and just to play around with okay like it's not like don't take it seriously look at how fun this yarn this yarn is not serious yarn okay this is just a fun time you have while watching some reality tv and you want to crochet something that's all i gotta say about it it's 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 just fun. So if you're gonna buy the yarn, just know that going into it, that some skeins of yarn are dyed a little bit better than others. Hopefully in the middle of February, end of February, I will be doing another video and that video will be me making tire cardigan using these squares. And so when that's done, I would have used every single one of the squares and I'll be able to give you a review how I feel about every single color. You know, maybe it's just certain skeins of color that doesn't work out, or maybe it's certain color combos that just weren't dyed properly. When that video comes out in about a month, I'll have a better idea on how all the colors, you know, work out in granny square form. I think that pretty much sums up my review on the Red Heart Granny Square all-in-one yarn. I give it an eight out of 10. Okay, I know that's pretty high, but I just love how fun this yarn is. I love crocheting, and if I can have a fun time crocheting, then uh, I'm I'm gonna do it. So I hope I answered any questions you had. I think that is it. So if you are new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Patreon. I think that's it. So y'all have a good day now.